The water's cold? Why are you in the water? Where's your shoes? Oh. We'll do this one and then that one. And then I'm going to take those batteries out because I don't know exactly how long they last. Uh, this is not around anymore. Don't yeah. Tell me the, the guy who made that. Yeah. He just, uh, he just passed away today. This morning. So, so uh, I can't ask him how long his battery lasts. my second dad go straight at it here shortly yeah I'm just gonna go straight down this and then we'll make another loop but I went straight up and down here two or three times so I'm gonna make a, a long loop around so. yeah so we are out here this is called officers Lake mm -hmm. yeah, this is officers Lake Road or officers Road officers Lake Road this here is Waverly Waverly Road. So this is Waverly Road. This is Officers Lake. Um, the owners of the, the land were were incredibly gracious and all about letting us search here. Um, there was a rumor, essentially, that um, Ryan's car was driven right off in that point into this lake here. I hear you. He has a man cold. <laughs> oh, it's a lot lighter with two people. I thought I died earlier. You should have asked for help. I would have helped you. It's gonna hurt. Yep. All right, guys. So, putting the putting a little buddy in, searching this pond. We did find a car, almost positive it's a car and not a truck. Um, it's on the very corner, you guys will see it, Lindsay and I will dive on it. This is what it looks like. There's the car, went right over top of it. I'm going to follow through, I'm going to look more of this footage to see if there's anything else in here and see if I can get better images on the car but it's for sure a car does that say how deep it is I didn't see if I, I, I didn't if look I had to guess there. from here to here it's probably about 10 feet deep yeah there's 10 feet right there you see how that line is okay. it's 10 feet okay. I just so I wasn't sure if it was possible to put this in or is that something Okay. We're literally gonna have to go out there. Can we stand on the road? And throw a magnet? A magnet? Yeah, possibly. Okay. It's uh, it's deep, it's uh, it's clear enough. The area is clear enough that we can throw it out there, and if it catches on something, more than likely that's gonna be it. It's either that, or we can scan around that area. Go over to that corner and just, just scan. swim the area and see if we can't find it because really we can't we can't put a definite pin on it because i don't know how to do that from the little buddy sucks but i'm i'm not advanced on this thing yet so i can't ask dennis either oh i think he just gave you all the answers that you need yeah Without knowing exactly where it is and not knowing exactly how to use that sonar um, with the little buddy just yet, I'm gonna try to see if I can catch it. There's really nothing on here, um, in here, so we shouldn't be able to catch on anything except for the plug. And I wanna say a special thanks, first of all, the Brute Magnetics for supplying us these magnets, but also for the people who have bought and purchase these lift bag or these bags on the Amazon gift registry. These bags come in super handy, and I'll show you why. You want to stand on yep. that? I'm just gonna sit right on the side of you. Well, 
Well, you tied a knot in it, didn't you? <laughs> oh. You had to loop in the thing. Yeah, well, that's not supposed to happen. Okay. All right, you're good. I always tie a, a knot to loop the strap in the bag through. I know you did. It, this, is, this bag, usually you can throw this out and it does not get caught up. What about the drone? It's calm right now, super calm. I think there's a chance that we could try the drone. Let's see it? Yeah, or just see a dark. I just got an idea. Back it up. I'm not a very good backer upper, I don't think. I'll see that. What I thought it was, but I think it's I really do think it's out down that line farther. I never did go over top of it, Lindsay. That's the down imaging of it. Okay. So can we find the coordinates for that? There it is. Right there. It's way out there. With that, because you were about to turn around, right? So, about yep. at that second parking thing, yep. or second caution. Yep, okay, so. Oh. That guy's got a John boat over there. Can we go get it? Who has a John boat? That guy over there. The owner? Yeah. Yeah. Jumbo. You do have paddles, right? I think this gives a whole new meaning to Tippy Canoe. So having a little buddy, we're not able to mark the vehicles. We haven't we haven't figured that process out yet. Um, we do have GPS coordinates. I'm supposed to admit that, that it's pretty smart that he is propelling himself with a little buddy. So Jacob's going to, he has a little buddy with him. He's going to use that to, he has it right next to him. I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but he has it right next to him. Maybe we'll see it better when he turns. And he's going to mark the car this way. We do not have our inflatable. As many of you know, the RV had broken down and we grabbed what we could. We got about 100 or so miles away from the RV and realized that we did have the inflatable. Guys, we'll give you answers here shortly. Uh -huh. Pretty cold, isn't it? Did you ever think that you were gonna go out on a pond with a leisurely swim with me, huh? Light on. You gotta go down without your light on. You gotta hold your line. Where's the line at? Okay, right here. Here it is. Let's 
just get straight on and down on the car. Are you? All right, leave the eye. LUN 129. It's a Dodge. And the number is uh, LUN 129. Flipped upside down. The Dodge car of some sort. Spin uh, that way. Yep. Good job. Good. Good, how are you doing, sir? My name is Jacob Grubbs. It's nice to meet you. Grubbs? Grubbs, okay. Yep. This is Lindsay Busick. We're gonna get this out for you and uh yeah, that's our that's our sonar boat that it actually you'll drive it with the remote here. And this is an invention that Dennis Waters, he just passed away yesterday. But uh, that's what he made and uh, came in really super handy. Welcome to Mississippi. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we'll have this car out pretty quick. But uh, we're going to get the chain out there, hook it up, and then we're going to get the uh, tow line on there. So.
Yeah, what was it called again? Prophet's Porch. Prophet's Porch. That's, it was delicious. Yeah, that's right. No, not either. Just go ahead and go down. The chain is too heavy for me to undo it, so just go ahead and go down. You know, you're right there with you, okay?
left-hand side, so. I just hooked up a car. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and you were successful at it. I know. You, oh, didn't you even, hooked it? You didn't even have to go back down. A lot of that. Uh, no, you did great, buddy. Thank you. Sorry about dirtying up your stuff. I think my stuff. Thank you, buddy. Thank you guys for all your support. Love each and every one of you. She called them feet the other day, or, or yesterday. What they are, is it they're, they're fins. Yeah, we'll meet you down there. Hey, I want dolly wheels like that. Hey, thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you all. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. What we put in today was a place of huge open lot super accessible all the way down. So we put in down there, we came this way down to the marina. We're actually gonna head back up that way. And there's a private boat ramp between Officer's Lake and where we put in. That private boat ramp, we are going to get to it from the water. Um, just because it's private doesn't mean- They own the water. Does, yeah, they don't own the water, but um, doesn't mean that somebody still couldn't get into there. Um, especially if, you know, uh, with foul play being suspected in this case, doesn't mean that somebody couldn't get Ryan's car into that area. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna head back down that way after we finish up checking this. After we finish up checking this area, and then we'll we're going to have a couple of ponds we want to search as well while we're here, and then everything else will be put on for the next trip that we make down here. But we were able to pull the intrepid this morning. Lowndes County Sheriff's Department, they were awesome. They they wanted it out of the water. So they they did everything that they needed to do as far as helping us, making sure we had everything we needed. The tow truck company, remember the name? Water? Waters? Truck and trailer? Tractor and trailer? Yeah, they, they were huge help. Uh, and we, I have it in the, You'll see their their tow truck. They they brought out their rotator. Uh, they I'm pretty sure their words to Jacob were we don't mess with little stuff. So they brought out the rotator. You know big chains, big hooks. Um, we were able to pull the car out in one shot. Um, and then Lowndes County Sheriff's Office took it down. They're going to analyze it. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Ryan's case, but because of you know, rumors that Ryan was put in Officer's Lake and then that being the only car. Um, just want to make sure that the car doesn't have anything else in it. Make sure that it's clear. Make sure that it's got, you know, it, it's clear of Ryan's case, but it's something that they are notating for Ryan's case. Um, any place that we've searched, they're, they're marking it down, you know, that it's, that it's been looked at and add that to their list as well. So they've been detective on, on Ryan's case has been really great about making sure that everything is notated, everything. So we're going to uh, finish up searching this marina here. A lot of big, huge, gorgeous boats here. Some of them need a bath, but a lot of 
so where we pulled out the Intrepid, there's another private boat ramp down through here. Um, Lindsay just showed you it. We're going to search this area because right there on the road. Like easy, super easy access into the water. So we're going to check in, make sure there's no vehicles in here. And then from there, we'll continue down. And there's another few spots that we want to check. And then after that, we'll have to come back. We've got uh, several other areas to search. And if you guys have any information on why, where Ryan's whereabouts are, reach out to the family, reach out to law enforcement, or reach out to us at chaosdivers.com. And uh, there's a chat now button on the right hand lower part of the uh, website. So let's chat now. That takes you directly to Lindsay. And she can relay the message, and we try to get all tips and hints to where someone's missing. So. We are back here in Columbus, Mississippi, as many of you know, searching for James Ryan Taylor. He goes by Ryan, that's how his family all knows him. So this is Carly, this is this is Ryan's niece. Carly, we were here about eight months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, back in February. We searched, I think it was two or three, three or four days. I yes, think, it was time. like three or four. Um, we covered a lot of water last time. However, you guys have a ton of water here in Columbus. So, you continued searching. When we were here last time, we were kind of going off of basic, these are the things that we knew. We knew where his cell phone came. And that's what led us out to the Lux. We knew that he was last seen at the island, at the hotel there, right? Yes. And there's only one way off and one way onto the island. So, we searched around the island area because that was the last place that he was known to be seen. After we left, what did that do for you guys? Did you guys get any more tips? Did that help? Yes, it helped. We felt more comforted because y'all looked mm -hmm. and we knew where not to look or where to worry about now. Mm -hmm. And then more tips kept coming in and coming in and coming in. And then when we put you guys back on our schedule, which we promised you guys that we would be back mm -hmm. until Ryan is found or until you guys say, don't search anymore. Yes. So when I got a hold of you, it was a couple months ago to let you know that we were coming back to town. What was that like for you guys to know we were coming back? We were happy. We all jumped up and down. Good, <laughs> good. And then we kind of started putting a game plan together then. Like, yes. You know, okay, we knew we wanted to search these places. These are the places that we got tips and things like that from. So getting all of that in line. With us actually searching yesterday, we did find a vehicle in a place that was rumored yes. that Ryan's car was would be at. Unfortunately, it wasn't Ryan's car, but us finding something, how was that for you guys? 
I mean, it was okay. It sucked it wasn't Ryan's, mm -hmm. but it felt good to know that maybe it was somebody else that had been missing. But, you know, there's more water to cover, so. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we actually have to get on the road because we have another commitment um, up in Nashville. So we'll be coming back. And I think we have you guys on our like January, February schedule. So, and we've already game planned for the next trip. We've already got three or four places that we know next time. Um, and we'll make sure that, you know, we schedule the time here with you guys. Will you guys be able to be here next time too? Oh yeah. Okay. I love this family. <laughs> <laughs> they are amazing. They have been incredibly supportive. Uh, we got to meet your grandma this time, which is Ryan's mom. And Ryan's brother. And Ryan's brother. Yeah, yeah. we got to meet your dad. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just really nice to be able to, you know, to have them involved with us this time. Last time they weren't able to. Um, but this time having them here and them getting to see the process as well. Oh, especially Ron's dad too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think that kind of helped you guys a little bit in the sense of, you know, seeing what it is that we do yes. and then seeing us pull a car out, even though it wasn't Ryan, you guys got to see that process. It was still exciting for us too. Yeah, it's not something you see every day. Right. Um, for us, it is, but you know, for, for you guys, it's not something you see every day. So. And we know what to expect now. Right. Um, how was that yesterday when we drove down? How it, what were you feeling when we were like, okay, we found a car and we're driving on it? I was shaking. Yeah. I was scared. I wanted it to be him, but then didn't. Right. It's, it's a hard feeling. I feel like it's probably a lot for you guys to process because you're ready, but you're not ready. Right. Um, so we have, uh, we have it back on our schedule for, for our winter trip to come back and visit Columbus, Mississippi, see if we can help again. And again, and this time the sheriff's department came out with us, yes. pulled that help pull that car. They were super involved today yes. as far as, you know, what do you guys need? How can we help you guys? So I think that was really good for us. It's always great when we have the sheriff's backing. And I think it was good for you guys too to yes. see that they are willing to do and whatever, it, yeah, whatever it takes to help. And even though it wasn't Ryan, it was still, they're still going to go through that car front to back, everything, even though it's not as far as we know, anything to do with Ryan's case, they're going to treat it like it is, which right. is a good thing. Yes. Um, and it may help solve something else. So with all that being said, thank you so much, guys. Um, we'll be back with, with Ryan's family um, this winter, and hopefully we'll bring him home.